I'm Joan London. Welcome to DirecTV Hometown Heroes. We travel all over America to communities large and small to find stories about DirecTV subscribers who perform extraordinary acts of kindness and courage every day. Tonight, the incredible story of a family from Nebraska who gave a baby girl they'd never met the ultimate gift. I am just so incredibly lucky, and I know it. I know I'm the most fortunate person ever. This is DirecTV Hometown Heroes. People get ready, there's a train to come in. Picking up passengers from coast to coast. All you need is babies to hear that diesel humming. You don't need no ticket, you just get on board. We begin tonight with a story about how even strangers can become as close as family. When Lily Allen was a tiny baby, she was on the verge of death. But thanks to a family from Nebraska that she'd never met, she got the greatest gift of all, the gift of life. Syracuse, New York. It's one of America's great college towns. And on a warm summer day in 2008, it was the location for a wedding that bordered on miraculous. Right. Right. The bride is 25-year-old Lily Allen. I am just so incredibly lucky, and I know it. I know I'm the most fortunate person ever. The groom, 23-year-old Brian Allen. Marriage was amazing. Just so far, it's just life has been great. You think back, and, and you know that this almost wasn't, and that it was a possibility that it never would be. And this is Milton and Janet Bemis. And without them, this day, the happiest of Lily's life never takes place. We've got a wonderful story to tell, and we want other ones to feel the same way we feel. That's why we do this. Their story begins in 1984 in Nebraska. Oh, look at over here. Milt and Janet already had two daughters when they welcomed their first son, Matthew. Matt was a ball of fire. He was a little boy that was into everything. Matthew was full of action, full of love. Just a super fun son to have. When Matthew was two, the family took a vacation to a nearby lake. Then, when nobody was looking, the toddler fell into the water and drowned, suffering irreversible brain damage. As soon as we got him to the hospital, they put him on life support. Um, and we knew right away, the doctors were very open with us, and we knew fairly certain that Matthew probably would never make it. Faced with the unthinkable, Milt and Janet made a fateful and at the time unprecedented decision. I just happened to say, do you think we can? And Milton finished my sentence. I said, donate, and she said, yeah. Meanwhile, across the country at the UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, a defenseless toddler from Tucson was days away from death. 14-month-old Lily Allen was stricken with a rare cancer affecting the lining of her liver. There comes a time when enough is enough. And you don't want to uh, have someone suffer anymore. Lily had just one highly experimental chance of survival, a liver transplant. They would either have to accept her into the transplant program and do their best to find a liver, or we were going to have to take her home in a body bag. At that moment, back in Nebraska, Milt and Janet said goodbye to their beloved Matthew. I told him he was a great son. He was a hero. And we loved him. And we would miss him. As they were taking him out of the room, I leaned over and I whispered in his ear, I said, Matt, somebody needs you. Somebody needs you and you're gonna help somebody. A Tucson, Arizona child is going through the first day of her life with a new and healthy liver. 
Lily is now in critical but stable condition. Her parents are just thankful that it was It shows us how the end of one life can begin another. First reported exclusively last night. Everyone knew and loved Matthew. Now we can report that her new liver came from two-year-old Matthew Bemis of Rising City, Nebraska. It's donated Matthew's organs so something good could come from his death. His liver provided a life-saving transplant for this one and a half. When we saw that picture, we knew that we had made the right decision. To the amazement of her doctors, Lily's body accepted Matthew's liver without complications, but her life expectancy was only five years. The best they could tell me was that if she survived the first year without complication, she stood an 80% chance of surviving five years, and that was all they could ever tell me. I didn't fully understand everything, like all I knew is that I had a boy's liver, you know, just... Yeah, my mind wasn't able to comprehend and make sense of what had happened. Very happy Lily about <laughs> a month after transplant. As the years passed and Lily grew up, she met Milton Janet and saw that they'd become dedicated advocates for organ donation. They go to conferences, they spread the word, they work so hard, and it's just absolutely heroic. And it's so selfless. One of the reasons we do these presentations is so that we get the word out about organ donation. We really hope to inspire people by doing this. That's the reason we do this. This is a happy story. It starts out sad, but it is a happy story. Our goal is to encourage people to sit down and discuss their desires in case tragedy happens in their family and to make a decision to be an organ donor. That's important, though, that everybody understands in their hearts they made the right decision. Now that she's an adult, Lily has signed on to the cause. She even joined Milton Janet at this recent appearance. And when she got married, she realized her special day wouldn't be complete without the presence of the people who'd saved her life. So Milton Janet had a place of honor at Lily's wedding, held exactly 24 years to the day after she received Matthew's liver. They had us in the reception line, and they introduced us as Lily's donor parents. And we got so many hugs from, from friends and family of hers. So many hugs. It did make it special. It was like my own daughter getting married. It's just exciting and to see her and how happy she is. I don't know how to describe it, except it was extremely hard not to burst into tears very loudly and very obviously. Lily says having Milton and Janet in her life is something she'll never take for granted. The Bemises mean the world to me, because I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. I can't imagine in your darkest moment being able to make it positive. And for Milton Janet, there's deep satisfaction in knowing that they and little Matthew were able to give Lily something truly precious, the gift of life. Good to see you again. We're lucky. We know that we made the right decision. We're able to hug Lily, and we know exactly what happened to her. I'm not a hero. We did it because Matthew no longer needed his organs. He's the hero. We're not. It's just something that happened to us that we were fortunate enough to make something good happen out of a tragedy. Milton Janet didn't just save Lily's life because they've been courageous enough to tell their story for the past 24 years. They've saved countless others as well. For their extraordinary dedication to promoting organ donation, we're pleased to call Milt and Janet Bemis Direct TV Hometown Heroes. The inspirational stories you've just seen show how Direct TV subscribers are changing lives in their communities. Whether it's donating organs to save a stranger's life or assembling volunteers to help farmers in crisis, these unsung heroes show us how we all can make a difference. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on DirecTV Hometown Heroes. Until then, I'm Joan London. People get ready, there's a train to come in.